Hey parents, I'm so excited about camp this year. It went amazing. Uh, we had a little bit of rain, but it was fine. We had a great, great time. And this year, our theme was living generously and what that looks like for kids. Uh, the first night we talked about how Jesus Christ came to earth and how God demonstrated generosity to us by giving us his one and only son, Jesus, and how because of his example, we can live generous lives. And that was the first night. The second night, we talked about living generous lives towards others, how our lives need to be poured out, how when Jesus Christ pours into us, we need to pour out our lives into others. And when we do that, we're going to be living generously, when we're living beyond ourselves. And tonight we're going to be talking about the power of the Holy Spirit, how the thing that enables us to live generously is the power of the Holy Spirit moving in our lives. And uh, I'm so excited for, uh, to see what God has done and, and what he's going to do in the life of your kids. And we want to just let you know a little bit about what are the things that we talked about. So, you know, we want to partner with you and so that you can, when your kids get home, you can talk to them, talk to them about what it is that they learned at camp and, and maybe have some God conversations around what it means to live generously as a family. And, you know, we're really, really excited about some of the great things that God has done at camp this year, and it's going to be great. One of the other things we wanted to do to kind of partner with you guys is we gave uh, a journal to all the kids. And the first morning we told them what we want you to do is to write in there about uh, what you're asking God to do at camp this year. What are you, what are you hoping and believing for and, and, and trusting God to do in your life this, this, this week at camp? And so the kids wrote in that. And so that was really cool. The second day, we had them write in there, what, are the, what is the dream that God's put in your heart? What, do you, what is God calling you to do? What is, what is the thing that, that God is calling you to do so that way that you don't live carelessly? You know, the Bible tells us that if we don't have vision, we're going we're gonna to live carelessly. And, we, and there's far too many kids living carelessly because I believe that they need a vision for their life. They need to have a, this is what I want. I feel like God is calling me to do. And I think if we can help them discover that, and help them to, to live lives that bring honor to Christ. It's going to make all the difference in the world because when kids are not living carelessly, they're living focused lives. They make wise choices based upon God's word and not based upon their emotions and their feelings. And so uh, those are just a couple of things that you can talk with your kids about. Uh, if you can encourage them to use their journals more and talk to them about the discipline of journaling and just talk about, you know, you know writing down as a family maybe even, you know, what are the prayer requests that we're asking God for? And what is the answers to those prayer requests? What have they been? So that they can see God at work in our families. You know, I think that is, that's an amazing thing that, that will help every kid is to see that and to know that God not only created them, but he actually is living and active today and he cares about them. And uh, so we thank you so much for sending your kids to camp. We had an amazing time and you guys have great kids and we're so blessed to have families like you guys in our church, and we appreciate you. And if there's anything I can do, give me a call, email me if there's any questions you have about camp or anything that went on, and I would love to talk to you about it. Thank you so much. God bless, and I'll talk to you soon.